Hey everyone, we're back today, and this time we're going to be attending an event. I'll take you along with me on the process today, and hopefully it's helpful to kind of learn more about what I do in a day. So yeah, here is just me doing some editing. Um, overall, it took about 30 minutes to play through the audio, kind of edit out pieces uh, where there were ums, uhs, kind ofs, and long pauses. And so, yeah, it's usually pretty nice to just kind of go through and do any polishing that needs to happen on the podcast. It wasn't too bad, and in most cases, I, I don't need to edit at all. So it's it's just something that I'm pretty used to now. Um, it's, it's nice to be able to have some type of process for polishing up a podcast. Sometimes I'll drop in different effects like noise removal, but in this case all of the audio was really clean and great. <laughs> that doesn't always happen on a lot of our podcast recordings because we are all on a Zoom call and I just hit record on the Zoom call and instead of keeping the video it's just all audio because podcasts are audio. Um, I kind of sped up the clip here just to show you uh, what I was doing. So it's about 7.20 right now. Uh, we're at the top of another session, four steps to ensure software delivery success in today's environment. This event, uh, Skill Up Days, hosted by the DevOps Institute, is going to go about till 6 p.m. Eastern time. So. Uh, I'm right in the middle of the day, if you can see like the middle column. I have a session at 12 and then I'm doing a little bit of a, a meet the speakers uh, Q&A kind of session in the chat around 12. And then at 1, I'm going to be a part of the live panel discussion. And so I finished editing this video podcast episode and just exporting it now have to write up uh, a little bit of a, a summary on the podcast episode publish it to anchor and then i think by the time it's 11 i, I should be ready for um, a meeting Just finished up a meeting. I have about 30 minutes before my session starts. And so I'm probably gonna just copy and paste all of the questions that uh, are gonna be presented during the live session, panel session at one, and then just figure out what my thoughts are on each of the questions and then go from there. I, I do sort of a semi-structured response to a lot of things just because I want it to be informative for anyone attending the session, but I don't want to be so scripted that I'm not, um, I'm not uh, like interacting with other people on the panel. So <clears throat> that's pretty much the plan until, uh, at, uh, until about one. And then I think I'm going to switch over to some housekeeping tasks and then uh, we'll be good to go uh, for any of the other events that are happening today. Not events, but like meetings, I guess. <laughs> So uh, at this point, I was a little bit nervous because I, I tend to get in my head a little bit before an event, uh, but yeah, the event played along and then I ended up getting uh, a few shout outs or a shout out and that really helped me kind of pick back up and just get ready for the event. Um, and yeah, sometimes it's kind of difficult to get in the right headspace and know that you know, you're helping other people, but uh, I think that's all part of, you know, these virtual events is you can't see people's reactions, so you can't react or you can't adjust to uh, the audience. And so virtual events have been really interesting for me, at least, especially from the standpoint of 
being able to connect with people and, and even finding ways to connect with people. You know, if you have doubts and anxiety about getting involved with speaking events, getting putting yourself out there, just know that everybody goes through some type of anxiety. Everybody gets nervous, even the people who speak all the time. And so that was something that someone told me a long time ago. And, you know, she was a speaking coach and she said even she gets a little bit nervous. But the important part is to find ways to settle back down and Sometimes it just takes one or two people in the audience to, to say something for you to feel a lot better. So, um, yeah, I, I, I heavily encourage it. If it's something that you enjoy doing, if it's something that you're interested in doing, I, I highly recommend it. I know it's changed my perspective and, and my level of confidence as well. And I think, you know, you only live for such a smart, uh, you know, you only, you only get a few chances to do it. and. Um, I, I don't think the opportunity comes up very often to do speaking events. So whenever it does come up off uh, for me, I, I know that I try to take um, take advantage of that and make the most of most of it. So I'm logged in to the Zoom call right now. Um, just thought I'd sign in a little bit early um, so I don't lose it in my massive tabs and windows. Uh, but yeah, just sit in here for another two minutes before other people join. Um, it's going to be an awesome panel session chat thing. I hope people ask a lot of questions. I had a couple of questions come up uh, after my session. So always happy to answer questions. And even for people looking to learn more, uh, it's always great to be able to share resources that I came across when you know I'm deep in the weeds <laughs> of uh, uh, software delivery and continuous delivery. So there you have it, folks. We're gonna get started. Spent about an hour after my panel session had ended to answer some questions, make sure people have references to things I talked about um, followed up with a couple of things, made sure to update the socials, um, all the good stuff. I think it's really important to connect with people after you've invested some time into sharing content because that follow up could be, you know, a great way to connect with someone or even end up having a great conversation about something that you had never even anticipated people had questions about. Um, and questions are really important to the role because often you don't get to put your hands well it's not like you're consulting or you're being put on different projects to deliver something you really do get all of the questions and input and learnings from the people that you interact with and so the interactions are really important to me and so I just try to ensure that I'm there there after my session and, and a little bit before my session too um, just following up with people if they have any questions or if they're interested in anything in particular. Getting a little bit tired, um, but we got to the end of the day. Woo! Thank you so much to the DevOps Institute for throwing on an amazing event and having uh, Harness and even myself be a part of that event. It's always really great uh, to interact with uh, people in the DevOps community and so I hope it was uh, all of the sessions were really informative and people got to learn something about continuous delivery and software delivery. If you want to know more about software delivery, follow me, uh, subscribe, do all of the great things um, and yeah, I'll be around. Uh, more than happy to answer any questions in the comments down below, uh, but until then, 